Hello everyone, it's Jude here and welcome to Smart Watch Stories. So, One UI 5 Watch brings Wear OS 4 to the Galaxy Watch 4 and 5 Stories. Alongside it comes a whole lot of new features. And what this means is that the new features you have on the newly released Galaxy Watch 6 are now available on the older Galaxy Watches. One of these features is the new Universal Gestures. Before now, we had the normal gestures that allows you to control calls and quick launch your favorite apps. Now, with the new update, if you go to what settings, okay, go to what settings. Before that, that will just take you to advanced features here, okay. And if you scroll down, you should see this is what we had before now the normal gestures. You have answer calls, dismiss alerts and calls, and the quick launch of your favorite apps. Now, one thing you should note is that you cannot use this and the universal gestures at the same time. You can only use one. We'll just simply go back. And to activate the universal gestures, I will just scroll down to accessibility. And I'm going to tap on interaction and dexterity. Okay. And go ahead and toggle on universal gestures. I have this already toggled on. Okay. Now, once you toggle this on and you tap on gestures, you can see the options you have there. You have pinch, you have double pinch, you have make fist, you have make fist twice. If I tap on pinch, and you can see the options we have. How to leave all of these are the recommended action. Okay. You have tap, you have next item, you have go to previous item when you pinch, you have open the action menu when you pinch. You also have other actions below that. Okay, you can see go to previous screen, open BSB, launch the apps menu, or change scan method. And below that, we also have the option to actually do nothing when you pinch. Okay, I'll simply go back and you have double pinch, you have big fist. Okay, so go ahead and make your selections for all of this. Once you head on, the next option there is how do you want to activate? The universal gestures, which is the activation gesture. Okay, you want this to automatically activate when the screen of the watch is on. When you shake your hand, okay, if you tap on this, you can see when you shake your wrist. Okay, or when you nod, or when you do the knock knock. Okay. I think I'm just going to put this on auto activate just for this particular guide. Okay. And I'll simply go back. So I'm going to put the watch on right now so that you can see how this actually works. All right, guys, as you can see that once my screen is on right here, based on my selection, universal gestures is automatically activated. Okay. I'm going to do the double fist right now. All right. There you go, guys. We have apps. So I'm going to pinch. Okay. When I pinch, this takes me to the next item. We have ties. We have uh, on the quick panel. We have edit watch faces. You have gestures. Now to select an item, I'm going to do my face just once. Okay. This opens up the gestures and just pinch to go to the next item. To go to the previous item, I'm going to pinch twice, okay? Okay, so guys, beyond that, we also have the auto scan. You have the focus indicator color, you have the cursor scan. And the auto scan allows you to scroll through options automatically. If I go ahead and toggle this on, you have the option to choose the scanning speed. You have the option to choose the number of scans. Guys, with auto scan enabled, I'll just um, activate universal gestures and we have auto scan enabled. As you can see, this will scroll through the different options you can see on the screen. And this is going to scan just once, which is back and forth. Now it has to go back. 
This is what you get when you enable auto scan and you have the number of scans set at one. You can see where it says select the number of scans for auto scan. Each scan starts from the top, goes to the bottom and then back to the top. Okay. And we also have the scanning speed. Okay. I left this at medium. You can choose very fast. You can choose fast as the case may be. Okay. And that's what you get with um, auto scan. And you have the focus indicator. The focus indicator in this case is the color you see. Okay, that's the focus indicator. This is red. You could change this to green. Okay, go ahead and make your selection. And below there we have the cursor scan. Now you can use a cursor to scan. Okay, I'm going to. Going to activate this and I'll go through options to select cursor scan. All right, guys, this is the cursor scan. I'm going to choose this, I'm making a fist. Okay, and this is what the cursor scan looks like, as you can see. And this can actually use an item. Okay. You can see where it says delay time before action. I've set this to medium, okay, very long. You can pull this out long, okay, if you so wish. And you have the color of the cursor. What I have on the screen was orange. Okay, the cursor scan I have here is orange. You can go ahead and change this to any other color of your choice, all right? So with the cursor scan, you can scroll through options and, and once the cursor is aligned on an item and you allow it to stay there, it is going to automatically select that item. And you also have the option to add your favorite menus to the action menu. Okay. If you go to add favorites here, you can see we have apps. You can see we have um, change scan method. Go to preview screen. Um, recent apps, show watch face, close, action menu. Okay, I'll just select this. You have the option to select a maximum of three items that you can add to your favorites. Okay, I'll just go down and uh, I want to see this screen off. Okay, so this will be very useful to me. And show watch face. Okay. I think I'm okay with those three. Uh, to favorites, right? Now, when you activate Universal Gestures, three. Okay, those three favorites are added to the first three options you see on the screen here. Okay, if you go, go to previous item. Okay, we have close action menu. We have screen off, we have show watch face. Okay, that is the benefit of adding favorites. Okay, adding favorites allows you to have your favorite actions show up on the actual menu. So this is my favorites are the first three items you see right on the actual menu. So, guys, that is what you get as far as the universal gestures is concerned. Now this can take some level of learning, okay? You need to learn this to actually get used to it, okay? And when you actually get used to it, of course, this can come in handy for you when your hands are occupied. And I'm very, very impressed by the Universal Gestures. It actually makes operating the watch a lot easier. So guys, that is it for this video. If you find this video helpful, give me a thumbs up. If not subscribe smash the subscribe button right now and of course do not forget to turn on the notification bell to always get updates from me whenever i upload a video like this until next time guys goodbye